Hey y'all. Um, welcome back to Music Tutor. This is the first episode in Learning Gobo. Uh, yeah, part of my hands I was painting all day, so I got black and stuff on them. You know, to like washing them off all the way. Alright, so one number one thing about oboe is the reeds. The reeds are an absolute pain sometimes. With a clarinet or a saxophone, they have a single reed. So it's just a piece of wood, you put it in, you attach it to the mouthpiece, put that in play. But oboe uses a double reed. So let's see if you can see. Do you see how it's two pieces of wood? So what you have to do is the reeds, let me put that back in the case, hang on. Is so if I'll use my hands here. So you have the reeds and they vibrate back and forth really fast, and that's what makes the noise. And so in order to get them to vibrate, you're gonna need some water. So I recommend getting a case that you can carry with the lid. So that way, you know, you can put it in your pocket if you're at a com uh, competition or an honor band or whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be this. This is just what we had. A shot glass works fine. Um, just anything small. You just need like an inch, no less than an inch of water. All right. So then, yeah, to carry your reeds, because they're pretty fragile, get a reed case. Um, this one's pretty simple. It has, it can hold six. I got five in there right now. Pop them out, put them in there. Soak them in water. Right, I think that's the majority of the gear for reeds. So now let's talk about why do I soak it? So we soak, you soak an oboe reed to make it vibrate. So I haven't played my oboe today. So these reeds are gonna be pretty dry. Um, I used this reed somewhere recently. So I'm just gonna pop it in my mouth without soaking. Nothing. So you're gonna wanna soak a reed for about a minute or two. When I first started playing, I saw a thing that said, that had a chart for like, hey, I've used my oboe for this many hours of playtime, I soak it for this long. I used to time, now I honestly put it in my water. Let's see. So you can see how it goes up just to the cloth. So that I put a bit too much water in this one. You just want it to go up to the cloth and then let it sit there for a minute or two. Um, I usually just let it sit while I put my oboe together and you're gonna have to constantly soak it. During band, um, if you have, well, oboe, if you're playing oboe, you're gonna have measures of rest. So in those long times where you have long measures of rest, like eight or so measures, on measure six or seven, I'd recommend, or, so I take it out when you start the measures of rest, and then around measure five or six, you know, take it out, suck a little bit of the excess water out, and then put it back in your oboe and get ready to play. So after you soak it for a while, you're gonna, you should be able to test it out. So that's a decent sound, so this reed is ready to play. So I didn't pull my oboe out right now, because I don't want to, because I'm just talking about reeds, but now you're ready to play. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything more about reeds. They're very fragile. Ooh, uh, how to position them. So with a clarinet and saxophone, what you're told is to roll your bottom lip like this and fire it and bite it. So you roll your bottom lip and bite. Do not do that with oboe. This, these things are fragile. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll both lips in like this, so you cover your teeth, and it's just gonna sit right in there. And then you're gonna kinda pinch down. So cover your teeth with your lips, and then pinch down on it. Actually, don't roll it. Just bring your teeth together in a kissy face. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just play, play with your reed to figure out the right positioning for you. So it's on my lower lip, about right where it changes like to the inner lip. So you have the outer lip and then you have the inner lip. So I now just saw my outer lip right on the edge. And then you just sort of blow like that. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So get a reed case. L, uh, and multiple reeds. So it seems a bit excessive that I have five reeds in here, but you need it, you should change your reeds. I'm terrible at this, and I've used a reed way longer than I should have. But, um, so go through and change them. So at the start of band practice, I just go ahead and soak like two reeds, two or three reeds, and then after you're done putting your instrument together, you're putting your oboe together, take it out and then blow on each one. And whichever one sounds the best is the one you're going to want to use for that day. Um, and also, midway through practice, you're like, this reed's not working for me. Start soaking another reed and using that one. Um, I've heard a good rule of thumb is to have two or three working reeds. I have, like, 
a working read, maybe another one. Um, yeah, so, and don't just be lazy and soak your reed in your mouth because that'll ruin it. Your saliva will break down the wood cells and fibers. So soak it in water. It's a bit of a pain trying to get in your oboe water every day, but it's not that bad. Uh, our band has a sink in the band locker room, so fill it up there. Water temperature doesn't really matter. I like to go a bit warmer water because that's what I read somewhere was best, but it doesn't super matter. Um, yeah, get a case for water. It only needs to have what, get a little carrying case for water. It needs to be like, ha hold a half inch of water. Shot glass works fine, little cup, whatever. Get something for water. Uh, have, get an ovo carrying case, uh, reed carrying case. And don't just hang on. When you buy a reed, they come in something like this. Dude, I don't know, I had this reed in there. Um, <laughs> they come in something like this, as you can see. And don't just keep it in this because they need to dry. If you seal it in this, it'll bad stuff's gonna happen. So get a noble carrying case. It's cheap. It's like fifteen bucks for or less than that. It's like ten dollars for this. Um, would recommend. Do recommend. It is absolutely necessary. Um, yeah. Soak your reeds for while you put your oboe together, and good luck playing oboe.